Why don't cruise ships fall over? Taking this picture as a good example, we can see there's all that height above the water, there's not much below. So what's keeping that ship upright? Let's have a look at a diagram and start to understand why. I've got to add the underwater section to this diagram, so if we zoom out slightly, we can now see we've got the large amount above the water, the small amount below, and the water line in the middle. So what forces are actually acting on the ship? Well, we've got the weight which is pulling it down, and that is balanced by the buoyancy which is pushing it up. Of course, if the weight is greater than the buoyancy, the ship would sink, and if the buoyancy is greater than the weight, the ship would continue to move upwards. With the buoyancy and weight in balance, of course, the ship is floating. But to work out why the ship doesn't tip over, we need to think about where exactly these forces are acting. And those points are the centre of gravity for the weight and the centre of buoyancy for the buoyancy. Let's take a look at the centre of gravity first. In this diagram, I've just added a few colours for different areas of the ship. We're going to be looking for the centre of gravity. Of course, if everything in the ship weighed exactly the same, the centre of gravity would be slap bang in the middle. Looking at the picture, however, we can see the engines, machinery, fuel, stores, all that sort of thing weighs an awful lot more than the cabins and passenger spaces, stuff like theatres, which are mainly just air.